Hey everybody and welcome back to Zeldud's Play, The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. In this one, we're going to be taking on the first dungeon. Yeah, here we go into the Deepwood Shrine, the game's first yep. dungeon. So, okay, here, Ezo's going to tell us what it is actually. The Deepwood uh -huh. Shrine, The Minish Elder told us about. So yeah, we're looking for the four elements, which is apparently the only way to restore power to the mm -hmm. Pagori Blade, is to so gather the four elements which... oh. I can't get the map of Hyrule, but anyway, they're, they're, mapped, on, they're <laughs> mapped on the main map, but one yep. of them apparently lurks in here. Uh huh. Which is funny, because, yeah, to, to Minish Link, this is a full-on dungeon, and these enemies are his uh -huh. size and everything, but if he was just himself, he could have just crushed the dungeon, probably <laughs> yeah. found the little element, picked it up, but it'd probably be too small for him to see. I don't know. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think... The, the whole concept of this dungeon being tiny uh, is, well, I don't know what the word is, but shown off best by the dungeon's boss, who we'll see yeah, later on. Yeah, yeah. I, I think yeah. that's just such a, such a great way of doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, and the main room of the dungeon, which we'll see soon, um, is a great example as well. But these enemies, I guess, they would have just been small little parasite things, just right? Tiny um, slugs or something? Yeah, yeah. but like... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they'd be real small for slugs, but I guess there are really small slugs, so uh, I don't know. I, it, it's uh -huh. the Zelda universe anyways, but yeah, this here is super yeah. cool. I like how you, can keep, awesome, uh, you should yeah. keep pulling. Well, oh, you should have kept pulling until his face turns red. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, love I mean, we'll have to detail. do that in a bit. Yeah, um, but flinging yeah, yourself what across you, with the shroom is so cool. <laughs> what do you think of uh, Deepwood Shrine overall as a first dungeon? No, it, like, um, yeah, it's a great. Oh, this is what you're talking dungeon. about. The, uh, yeah, the, the, the barrel. Yeah, so like, it's just a barrel, right? But then, and mm -hmm. as a minish, it is a whole <laughs> obstacle and way of like getting from one area to another throughout this room. It's so cool. There you go. Ezlo even says, "Look at the size of that barrel." <laughs> oh, yeah. we're just small. Yeah. yeah, which is really cool. Because yeah, it's just a barrel, but to to the minish link, it's giant. But everything else, actually, if you think about it, if it's in Minish size, then that's some really... I mean, I guess the Minish built it. They built the Deepwood Shrine, right? Because the architecture is built as in they were small when building it, oh, right? There's too much detail. Um, uh -huh. But these guys, these guys are so annoying. So I've got no way of... Yeah, no, you can't mess with the them right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's for, like, a later item we'll be getting. Um, but right now, yeah, I just got to burn the... What would just be some simple vines holding the barrel, but apparently that's strong enough. I mean, let's be real. Yeah. In real life, that wouldn't be... But with how, I guess, Light Link is, I guess you want to be able to, like, rotate the barrel as we're going to do right now. This is really cool, too. Like, this the is 3D, cool, yeah. yeah, the 3D sprite yeah. work that, you, you, you know, kind of... For the Game Boy the Advance, you're right. This is cool. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, do you have a key? Oh, you, no, okay. You're rushing it. No, no, you're I rushing it. You, it. Yeah, you want to no. get... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we... <laughs> Of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah oh, thank you. <laughs> is he just telling you about that? But yeah, I think you want to go the opposite. No, is it that side? I think you want to go like bottom, oh, bottom left. Bottom left. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Just keep rolling. Just keep rolling, going that direction, and you'll do it. <laughs> it would be like yeah. there, Three, you go. there we yeah. go. Uh -huh. yeah. But okay. um. Okay, oh, these, these guys enemies. are annoying. Uh -huh. These are from a link to... Are, are these new as well? I know the the ones we mentioned earlier are new to this game in, exclusively, but are these in other top-down Zelda uh, games? They look familiar. I don't think they are. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm really rusty with uh, 2D Zelda games because I played them the least. Uh, I'm, uh -huh. I, 3D Zelda games are my bread and butter. I love them. I mean, Ocarina of Time is what got me into gaming as a whole, so... Um, yeah. I'm a bit biased with oh, the 3D correct. ones. Yeah, no, I, I definitely play the 2D ones the least. The Minish Cap is the 2D Zelda I've played the most. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know what I'd put at number two after that. Maybe A Link Between Worlds I've beat quite a few times. Uh, mm -hmm. A Link to the Past I've played a decent amount. But I'm in this little series where we're going through and revisiting all the Zelda games, I'm especially looking forward to the DS Zelda games because they're ones yeah. I, I really have not played much at all. There are um, ones I played a lot, but I love so much that you uh -huh. know, I want to replay them. Yeah. Uh, which is your favorite out of the two? Spirit Tracks, I assume. Or do you think um, It's a tough one. It depends on my mood that day. <laughs> you know, like. Oh, really? I guess okay. I would say Spirit Tracks because I like New Hyrule more, but 
You yeah. know, I like the Phantom Hourglass's companions. No, no, I love Zelda, but like I love the fairies and like how you can swap your sword ability, you know, like have a flaming sword, have additional, you know, defense, all of that. Um, and I, yeah, you want to pull all the way back? Yeah. And I, if anything, you can yeah, show yeah. what happens to Link's face. Oh, yeah, he, there we go. go. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And nice, but there you go. Yeah. Compass? Ah, okay, we're really getting done to that. Okay, yeah. yeah. But yeah, unlike Skyward Sword, this is a conventional one with the compass and the dungeon map. Um, mm -hmm. They're separate items in this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nothing else. We'll go back to where we found that locked door before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a cool dungeon, Deepwood Shrine. Because um, it, you know, it needed to immediately show off the game's mechanic, and I think this does it really well. Um, oh, yeah. And yeah, it's nothing too fancy, but yeah, decent enough. This game starts as one of the easier 2D Zeldas, I'd say. Uh, oh, but wait. picks up there's quick, no, yeah. There's nothing... I, I, okay, now we'll come back to that. I think you can um, go down there. Yeah, just save that for later. Go go down. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, but then it picks up, and I think towards the end, it's one of the most difficult, no, no, no. I think. I don't know if you want to oh, do that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I need to do half of that. Yeah. Um, oh, my bad. I need to stop. I'm going to backseat commentate way too much. I'm like, yo, mate, don't it's, do that. It's, <laughs> it's your turn. I was doing it in Skyward Sword. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn to backseat game. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, by the time you get to Palace of Winds and Dark Hyrule Castle, this game is really difficult. Um, yeah. And the final battle as well is possibly the hardest final battle in the series if you don't include Adventure of Link. Um, I don't know what yeah. else I'd, I'd, I'd put. I can agree with you there, just in the sense of like, because I'm not comfortable with the 2D ones. And like, yeah, the 3D ones you can cheese pretty easily once you like get uh -huh. the gist of it. Um, this one, it's like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I'm sure people who, you know, play top-down Zelda games all the time probably can cheese this game as well. I just haven't gotten to that point. So. Uh, yeah, here are more of these little kind of beetle people. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I don't know if they're... I can't do they dash around? Do they other. get mad and dash around? They do, right? I, they look familiar. They do. There's, um... Yeah. Well, there's two variants in this. There's the, the blue ones, which are angrier and they move faster. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, I, I don't recognize them from another one, but maybe they are. Um, yeah. Yeah, let, let us know in the comments, A, what they're called, because I can't remember. Uh, are they, no, what, scuffle bugs or scurry bugs or something I, like I wish that. Ezlo could, wish, like we could target on them and Ezlo can give us some yeah. tips, but nah. He's, no, he doesn't. Uh, no, he can't. Yeah, because yeah, you can't lock on, so he doesn't yep. know what you're doing. But yeah, That'd you get kind the, of the figurines, to which is, that would be quite, yeah, if you can, <laughs> especially like the bow or whatever. Uh, yeah. Anything through here? Yeah, you're gonna. Oh, oh yeah, true. And there are pieces yeah. of heart, so we can't miss those, especially if we're gonna collect them all. We're probably gonna. So, oh yeah, our strategy for uh, 100%ing. I I'm kind of speaking for Ed here, but like it's gonna be. Oh, yeah, um, it's gonna be at least all the pieces of heart and figurines, like you mentioned, right? But that's it. Not all kinstones. Kinstones is uh, too yeah. much. Yeah. Um, because unfortunately, yeah, the. You do need to do all the figurines if you want all pieces of heart. There is one locked behind the figurines, which is so annoying. Yeah. Um, but It'd yeah, be this, cool to this see. Guy, it would be cool to see. And you do get like interesting bits of lore from the figurines. It's just quite tedious doing it all. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll we'll work out a way to do it. We can do a little bit every every time we go to Hyrule Town or something. I don't know. Um, but this, guy's, you say about this, this guy. guy yeah. Well, he reminds me of the Moldorm from Skyward Sword. It like does. Saying, is his name not Moldorm? So it's not a. It's not like no. a funny-looking worm. Moldorm. So this guy, unless I'm really misremembering, he's called Madder Pillar, which makes ah. sense. He's a, he's a bit like Wiggler from Mario in that he's a caterpillar enemy that gets annoyed. Yeah. Um, but except his heart anyway. is on his butt. <laughs> yeah. Right. Weird. <laughs> but here we get the Gust Jar, which is quite yep. similar to the. Um, the, the Gust Bellows from Skyward Sword. Yep. And but, yeah. this also kind of applies to my theory of Link is Luigi. Uh, you know, he has the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The old Luigi's Mansion theory, of course. Yeah, you know. <laughs> that rusted and busted uh, theory. You know, I had, to, I had to pull it out of the woodwork. <laughs> had to be done. But yeah, <laughs> finally we can actually hurt these guys now. Uh, mm. Yeah, they go grey for some reason when you do that. Mm -hmm. oh, it like cleans up the floor. I guess that's just dust, right? And yeah, this is a new mechanic, yeah. right? Or a new, a, yeah. a, a big concept, a collectible, the uh -huh. mysterious shells. Wait, so yeah, did they originate from 
Uh, also, a di another Capcom developed one. It Link's Awakening, right? The Room of Mysterious Shells. Uh, in yeah, you got the seashells in, in sea Link's shells, Awakening. Seashells, yeah. 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 Um, uh, but what were they? They're, they're for the seashell house. They're for upgrading your sword, right, in Link's Awakening. Yeah, um, yeah. in this game, it's for uh, the figurines, this game is, right? It's just for the figurines, yeah. Yeah. Um, like, it's almost yeah, like they're, a they're gacha are... type thing. Not really. It, it's, it is exactly, yeah, because you, you pull and you get a random figurine and you... Mm -hmm. You have to decide how many mysterious shells you want to bet, uh, because the more you, the more you give the guy, uh, mm. higher the more, chance of the higher the rare. chance that you get one that you haven't got already. Yeah, but here's the thing: um, you can save and quit in this game, so it's not really gambling. <laughs> true. You know, so yeah. that is a good way of like just cheesing it. Um, uh -huh. But yeah, okay. it's it's quite tedious getting the mysterious shells and, and everything. Um, mm -hmm. what, okay, yeah, all these enemies just don't look familiar to me. Is that? Just, I mean, I, I I'm unfamiliar oh, yeah. again with the 2D Zelda enemies, but I guess that's just some kind of bug. Um, it could just be sort of a fly. <laughs> because let's be real, uh, a fly I've, in as the size of a minish would be that big, right? <laughs> I think you're right. I think that's exactly what they are. I th yeah. I'm pretty sure at least those red ones you can see. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted time killing them. Uh, the red ones, I'm pretty sure at least there's a, a few bits where you see them um, normal sized. Oh, and they're just like uh, specks. Like and they're pixels. absolutely tiny, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we do this and then we can <clears throat> drop all the way nice. down here. Yep. No, that Wait, was. It's so weird. The Ocarina of Time. Young, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I like how we both thought of the same thing. It's so weird. It's just jarring hearing Young Link's voice in this uh -huh. game. I'll never get used to it. It's funny because in the Game Boy version of A Link to the Past, they A Link also to the Past, added they it. added it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, which is similar to this. But in the original Link to the Past, Link had no voice. But it's weird how they <laughs> reused specifically Young Link's voice in both these games. But again, this game would have benefited from Toon Link's voice. And they sound distinctively different to where it would have you know kind of just it would have felt right you know oh you don't want to go that up? way yet wait no i just i can't remember what's up here yeah it could be a secret uh, or maybe this see. is the way forward oh well oh, it's, it's a, a locked door door oh okay okay well, okay, well you got to get the we'll, key we'll yeah. be coming back okay um mm -hmm. yeah it's weird because links uh like young link's voice in a link to the past i find that so jarring in the game boy advanced version it really annoys me and i don't know whether that's just because i kind of feel like link probably, shouldn't have a play? voice did you play it? the original uh, first is that why yeah 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 so that's, I think why. that's no, why no because see i played uh a link to the past on the game boy first and it was jarring not to hear his voice in the snes version oh so, really whereas yeah. i feel it, it just kind of suits this even though you're right it is oh it is um, Ocarina of Time voice, which is weird. Mm -hmm. uh, it just, yeah, it just suits the Minish Cap for me, at least. And that's probably just because this is one You're of the, the earliest Zelda games I played. This was the first 2D Zelda I played. Um, mm -hmm. Or at least played properly. I'm pretty sure I will have played A Link to the Past first, uh, but not got far and kind of given up right at the start until I came back to it a few years later. The Minish yeah. Cap was one I played as a kid, immediately loved it. Um, Aesthetically, which uh, is your favorite, Minish Cap or uh, A Link to the Past? In, in like aesthetically, the it, yeah. it's got to be Minish Cap. I think this is this is one of the best looking games in the series. I think for me. Um, mm. What What about you? What do you think? I think this one's just so vibrant and colorful. I have to, and... yeah, I have to agree with you. I guess. I mean, a part of me likes the darker vibe A Link to the Past gives me. But it definitely you're suits right. the games. I think the yeah, art style. Yeah, the detail. Yeah, the, the detail game. on this is so much better. You're probably uh -huh. right. just have, like the little kind of cracks in the wall, the detail there on the lily pad thing. But mm -hmm. I, I think you're right. They they suit the vibes of the game. Like uh, a link to the past is a much darker game than this. This is like I said, like the kind of fairy tale um, Zelda. So it should be brighter. Yep. Oh, you got to be careful. But this is that. Uh -huh. This is quite a cool use of the. Of the gust bellows. Mm, wait, wait. You want to go gust further back, one. right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I think so. so you uh, launch here we go. Really big key. Yep. The big key, and it's uh, exactly like uh, also Wind Waker's boss key, or did yeah. Wind Waker? Yeah, yeah, right. Oh yeah. Uh huh. That's the Wind Waker's one. Yeah. Yeah. 
a best looking boss yeah. key in the series, actually. I, I love the horns. Oh, I think the so. The horns. Yeah, that, definitely. It just gives off a nice vibe. But Oh, yeah, nice. And it, this is a 2D uh -huh. staple. Uh, in dungeons, they give you the portals. But I like how one just gives you a piece of heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite handy. Yeah. Uh, but like checkpoints, which are pretty nice. But either way, it doesn't matter. Because, yeah, right at the beginning of the dungeon, there's another secret area that you didn't have access to until now. Exactly. Wait, I can't. Oh, no, yeah. I couldn't remember if I had to go push that from the other side, but we're good. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, so you can't get out from here. You have to actually. Uh huh. Go you have to the... go this way, yeah. Nice, but look at that. You completed a heart container. You got. Yeah, wow. That's yeah, really nice. that's the thing. There's so many pieces of heart throughout this game. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, a, a lot of them are locked behind Kinstone fusions, which obviously we haven't done any yet, but we'll see a lot of that later. But yep. uh, yeah, you, you just kind of passively get pieces of heart throughout the game if you if you're kind of looking for them. Um, yep. I don't really know. There's, but wow, we're obviously. we're done, right? We're, yeah, you want to We're double done check? with the dungeon. Yeah, there'll be nothing yeah. in here. Um, uh, does the compass yeah. or dungeon map show you any missing? Oh, do, we didn't. You didn't get the compass. I didn't get the compass. There's a missing slot, unless. <laughs> who cares? Wait, who cares? <laughs> right? As long as we got. I don't. I don't... Yeah, I don't remember where the compass is, but we've got everything, I'm sure. There's, I remember there's only two pieces of heart. Um, okay, then let's do it. we ready? Yeah, let's see okay, what so we've been, <laughs> we've been talking and talking about how this game shows off the main mechanic, and this is the best example. The dungeon's boss is just a, t a regular choo-choo. Yep. <laughs> it just accidentally stumbles in. So if that hadn't happened, there'd be no boss, and we'd be straight onto the element. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, ominous green jelly dripping from the ceiling. Yep. Looks kind of delicious. Makes me think of the it does. green potion. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. And here he is. Yep. Cool boss. Uh, so he is cool. a li I, I always find this one a little bit tedious. I always get hit. Um, yeah, when he does that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we need to use the gust jar to kind of destabilize him. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay, it like balance itself. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> like this is just so dumb. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but yeah, really, but again, uh, it's really cool, yeah. No, yeah, it gives you perspective on what's going on. You're the size of a minish, the smallest uh -huh. little thing can be your biggest threat because yep. it's yeah, you're you're not the right size anymore. Um, exactly. It's not even the, the only time this game does it with a boss as well. Uh, I don't know what yeah. I was waiting for then. I thought he was yeah, going to yeah, do yeah. more bouncing. We're right. going to see this again, um, but... Oh, God. Um, oh, right. there you go. the, yeah, the Chew Jelly, yeah, overall, just a great way to represent the idea of, like, um, normal size things don't mean much until uh -huh. they're giant size. Yeah, you know. exactly. There you go. Words to live by. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a, the worst way of explaining oh. it, but whatever. You know, that that's... Take the quote as is. <laughs> yeah. Now I think he doesn't stop bouncing, or... Okay. Or maybe he does. Oh, no, he's stopping. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's all right. Because I'm... I'm... There... I know, I'm, I'm sure there is. There's another version of this as, like, a mini-boss later on. Um... Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought that'd be done. That might be the dungeon we were talking about, actually, where there's another example of fighting a regular enemy as a minish, as a boss. But I think oh, this yeah, is there, the... there, there is another one that is just a different oh, enemy no. entirely. Uh huh. Yeah. But I don't want to spoil it. No, no, we'll, we'll see that when we get to it. But I think this is a mini boss in that dungeon as well. Yep. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Oh, they okay. literally need one more hit. <laughs> yep. But there we go. First boss, big green choo-choo, done. Mm -hmm. And it's a nice first uh, dungeon altogether because it's uh, the foresty dungeon. You know, it, se it seems like all the first dungeons should be forest-based in Zelda. It just seems right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Theme forest is definitely the, the, the right theme for the first dungeon. Mm -hmm. and but you get the earth, earth element. element is ours. You would think you'd get yeah. the grass element or... <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, well. There we go. And... Here what am I go. saying? Earth to... is grass. Essentially, that True. worked. You know, <laughs> but it it's, comes it's from weird how it's. Uh, I always find it weird that it's purple in this game, though. Yeah, uh, yeah, and it's funny how I associate go. Earth with dirt, but it's like what comes out of dirt, grass. So it's like it works, I guess. You know, Earth <laughs> element makes sense, but maybe because it is purple. If it was green, I'd probably think of grass. Yeah, although yeah, the, w there is a green element in this, which we'll see later. Um, 
But yes, yeah, it's, it's weird that you start with purple. But anyway, first element done already. Yep. That's really not long before you get straight into this game. It does have mm. quite a quick start, which I like. Yeah. Retrieve the earth element. Oh, thank you, mate. <laughs> so now we just need to find a way out of the Minish Village, which yep. I do believe we can go out this way. Yeah, yeah, you gotta see. I, I mean, didn't as well say speak to the Minish Elder? Because we gotta let him know. Oh, I think uh, he might have done. Okay. So. We are blessed with much courage and strength. Thank you. Yeah, so, yeah, like you were saying, there's no Death Mountain in this, but there is a Mount Crenel. Mm. Oh, Crenel. Um, I say Crenel. I don't know. Oh, Crenel. Crenel? I don't I think, know. No, I think you're right. I think Crenel, yeah. Like, a, it's like a battlement on the top of a castle, right? I think it is Crenel. I think I've all, uh -huh. it's one of those words that I've always said wrong because I yeah, played so it Yeah, so you played it as a kid, yeah, it's uh, totally uh -huh. understandable. Yeah. But yeah, no, I think it's definitely like after battlements and stuff. Like crenellations is where like, you know, you have like arches hiding behind them on, on castle walls or whatever. Wait, wait, wait. But, enter the house. Oh, wait, I didn't. I could have talked to this guy. So yeah. I can't remember if he's got anything to say to us yet. Later in the game. You're going to come back. Some, yeah. All these characters. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, okay. oh, oh, right. I thought he knew the legend of Link there. But yeah. He just, <laughs> He's heard about uh, what we've done. Yeah, a bit of an inventor. Oh, okay, yeah, we, we did need to talk to him. I'm, I'm what thinking, the hell? Yeah, like you, what? Later so in the game, the he gives us an upgrade for something, but I forgot he gives you that right at the start as well. Uh -huh. But all um, NPCs you probably want to visit later on because of kinstones and trading. It's just such a huge feature within this game that you're going to see yourself constantly coming back. But, oh, this is really cool because this uh -huh. is our first teleportation spot. We can't do anything with it yet. Weird, it just vanished, yeah. and even Ezlo has no idea, but it will make sense later on. Yeah, so each kind of map tile uh, has one of these, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, we can't do anything with them for a little while at least, not till we get a certain yeah. item. Uh, there's nothing Again, I love when the light oh, kind of peeks in on the side of the screen. So is there any cool. Okay, no, there's nothing there. Oh, it's so nice, yeah, the, the right? sunbeams coming in. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's so weird how you just get the bombs like that. Hey, hey what up? You, uh, take these bombs and move along. <laughs> like, these are a key <laughs> item in this game. And that's yep. how you get them. Um, Let's see what's over here. Uh, pretty sure this is something we can do over here now. Yeah. Oh, and another. All, every, now, every time you see a little mushroom house, you know exactly what to do to enter them. Again, it will give you a completely different perspective on how to deal throughout the map, because you're going to see the minish all throughout. And also, are there beds like oh, okay. uh, an onion or something? Or like some unwrapped vegetable? Or <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't know. Right? I don't know what that is. But I do yeah. like looking around the, the minish decorations. Like, he's got like a spare yeah. red hat on a hook here, I suppose. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, we, I, we can't do anything here yet. We need to come back when we've got kinstones. Which yep. I believe we can head to Hyrule Town now uh, and start learning about Kinstones. Yeah. So let's go do that. Oh, okay. A lot of areas you got a bomb, though. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, that is the thing about the Minish Caps world is, um, like I said, it's quite segmented, but then it's quite satisfying because it's, it's kind of like the world is a puzzle in that you don't. There's areas that you can't do anything with immediately, um, but you kind of make note of them, and then later on when you come back, it all clicks when you've got the right item or you've made the right kinstone fusion. Yeah, yeah here's our, It's one our of the most satisfying friend, yeah. Zelda backtracking things. You know, like, that's what makes Zelda so satisfying. Backtracking uh -huh. when you have a special item that you can now solve something you couldn't solve previously. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. Uh, okay. But now, okay, we can finally re-enter yep. Hyrule Town. And hear the, the main theme of Hyrule Town, because before it was the Pecori Festival music. Mm -hmm. Oh, so Such nice. a great thing. Love it. Yeah. Yeah, and we oh, get this yeah, guy, the, yeah. the hurdy gurdy man. Like, in reality, this guy's such an important character, but such a weird, bizarre design and kind of came out of nowhere. Like, I mean, this guy must be some. If, if we're trying to treat this all canonically, this guy has to be some, like, you know, really special person in the Zelda universe. You know, yeah, kind of right. created these kin stuff. He's like have the happy mask it. salesman's ancestor or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, he teaches us about kin stones. And the kids 
block us in so we can do nothing but feud. Booger Boy, including uh, Booger Boy. Including Booger Boy, what does he say? Oh, he, uh, he says one of Fuse Kinstones, but he doesn't offer us the chance. Um, no. Yeah, Kinstone Fusion is cool. Uh, so certain characters uh, at different points in the game will have a kind of thought bubble with a, a various yep. icon in it. And with L, you enter the Kinstone Fusion thing. I've always loved, you can see Eslo in the back. You see, it's like... Uh -huh, yeah, the pattern. Yeah, it's, it's, cool. it's so nice. Uh -huh. yeah. But yeah, this um, is simple because we've only got one, but usually we have yep. a kind of slider of them on the left, and you have to mm -hmm. make sure it's the right color and the right shape. And aren't they slightly yeah. RNG? Like, not every playthrough, everyone will have the exact same ones, right? I think? Yeah, so there's Which makes some it really kinstone. hard and annoying to, like, collect Exactly. Yeah, there's time. some Kinstone fusions which are set. Like, some characters will always have the same thing. Um, the same fusion will always do the same thing. But then, yeah, especially in Hyrule Town, uh, like, just kind of random townspeople. Um, I don't know if any of these want to fuse. Not that I have any stones. They'll have kind of random fusions, which, mm -hmm. yeah, can be quite annoying because those are the ones that a lot of pieces of heart and things in the overworld are all stuck behind. Yep. Um, and, um, and yeah, depending on, like what you said, the little thought bubble, that will... Act can, can you actually go get it right now? Can you? I think. Uh, you someone in here will have will want to fuse, I think. Yeah, here Okay, you go. nice. But you don't have any... So, yeah, I, um, I don't have any kinstones, so yeah. yeah, can't do anything, but... Yep. Um, but yeah, the thought bubble... So yeah, her thought bubble, since it's a rupee, it probably lead you to some rupees. This guy will be something that is unknown question. for now. But, yeah, but there is know. a piece of heart now opened up. And I like how that, that woman's just cheersing milk in the air, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Having a party by herself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this it, it's so cool that you kind of get two versions of, of Hyrule Town. So like... Yeah, we're, we're normal size Link. Here's a, a nice little cafe, but, yep, but later on closely, in the game, yep, you can there's see. all this all this minish sized stuff, little kind of holes in the walls and little ladders, which we can't do anything about yet. Uh, mm -hmm. But I don't know, maybe maybe something later on will let us uh, move out of the way. <laughs> will let us <laughs> turn small. But um, what do you think? Do you think we should head towards Mount Krenel now? Um, um yeah, we can start, but. Anything... Uh, you wanna you wanna yeah. open up the map? Does it show you the Kinstone location that um oh, was yeah, set that up? Was down here. Was it yeah. north? Oh, down here. Yeah, can you South get that? Let's Let's see run. if you can. Might as well just get it so you don't forget. But it is nice that it's still marked on your map, just in case you did forget. Um, uh huh. Like you? I yeah. Think wait. So have yeah, it opened up one of one of the bushes. Yeah, there's a few different kind of types of Kinstone fusion. One of them, one of the main ones that you'll see a lot is these bushes. Some of them are, are blocked off, but yeah, there's like vines nice. or something. And yeah, there you go. Because uh -huh. the heart, it, I mean, what he was thinking of was right. He was thinking of a heart. It led us to a heart. So exactly, that's essentially yeah. how they work. Mm -hmm. Which I, I think, like you said, there, there's a little bit of uh, tediousness with like the random element of kinstones. But overall, I think it's a really cool mechanic. I think it's cool how it forces you to interact with random NPCs that perhaps yeah, you yeah. just ignore otherwise. Right? Um, and it all, like like I've been saying with the Minish Caps world, that you know you need certain items to open certain areas. Kinstones are the exact same thing. If you get to an area and it doesn't seem to mean anything or you can't progress and you feel like you should, it probably means there's a Kinstone fusion that you haven't got yet that will open something up. Yeah. Um, but I believe we have to speak to this guy now, right? The finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. So I had a theory about this guy for a while, right? And it, I, unfortunately, it, it doesn't track. It doesn't make sense. But you'll see what he says in a sec. So, um, oh wait, no, this isn't. It isn't yet. Uh, okay. No, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about it later because it, it, it's when we come back with the Pakori blade that he says something. Uh, but anyway. Uh, uh, Obviously, the first technique we learn has to be the classic Zelda move. Yep. Has to be the spin attack. Um, and he does a little possession thing, which is a little bit creepy when you think about it. And it just takes yeah. over your body for a second. Right. Yeah, and then now, yeah. now you know how to do it. Yeah, it's so weird. There we there go. go. The spin attack. Which, yeah, has to be done. Has to be. Yeah. But I, I... This is another game. So we had Skyward Sword and now we had this. It's another game where you can't do the, the, the classic shortcut you know you uh spin the spin yeah. the stick and then press b which Makes is sense only on a few... top down zelda game right and all like exactly. how we can see the postman running the postman of course yeah that's another yeah. ocarina of time 
a Majora's Mask, I suppose, thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But yeah, now we've got uh, the spin attack. I believe we can we can leave Castle Town, which we couldn't do before. Yeah. Uh, just like Majora's Mask, me. actually. This yeah, is very Majora's Mask here. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, it was blocking. Yeah. Uh -huh. But that guy always reminded me of the uh, swordsman trainer in Wind Waker. But he's blonde, so don't, it's not him. I always just thought there, there was some kind of reference to the two. But I guess oh, not. There will um, always be some mentor for Link. Orca, yeah, in the Wind Waker. Orca, yeah. yeah. Um, although, I... Wait, okay, he wants us to do this. Oh, he needs to I see I don't it. know... <laughs> just to prove we can do it. So now we yeah. can go out that way. But I, I don't... I don't think we'll be able to see him yet. No, it's, a. Uh, it's not him. The right? library? You know, there's Orca's... Orca's brother in the Wind Waker Sturgeon. Yeah. It's like the... Yeah. The, uh, the short... Uh, the, the scholarly yeah. one. Uh, yeah. He's in this game. I don't think it's him, because... Sturgeon yeah, has a, a kind of staff. Model, right? We see him later. I can't think where he is. He's somewhere in, Cal in Hyrule Town. We see him later, anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, let, let's make our way towards... Uh, let's put the shield on. Let's make our way towards Mount Krennel. Why not? Let's do what the game wants us to do. And there's not too much we can do at the moment, anyway, outside of yeah. this. Um, yeah. Here's another example of the game kind of cutting the world up. Like, so we go down here. Nothing yeah, we can do, do here yet. at the moment. Yep. So... You know, the game won't... Oh, actually, tell a lie. We can yeah, do something There is something, here. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we'll come back um, to game... that, which is really cool, that concept that we'll figure out. When it clicks, it uh -huh. clicks, and you realize, oh, I could do so much. Um, oh, but this yeah, is for... I need the shield for really? A merchant? I guess he's going to sell you, what, a bigger bomb bag? Or what would he Let's sell see. you? Bottle. Ooh, oh. Bottle. Nice. I'll take that for 20 rupees. Yep. Yeah, not too bad. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, this is cool. I think this is... Uh, a mechanic which is really cool in concept. I, I mean, I'll talk about it more when we see the actual mechanic, but I think in execution it's a little bit tedious sometimes, the the duplication, but anyway. Yeah. Um, oh, here's something that, uh, when I was a kid, I got stuck at this for so long, despite it just being at the start of the game. So the game wants you to head to towards the fire element, towards yeah. Mount Krennel. But mm. I, for ages, didn't know that you could just do this. What? I didn't know that this was like a, a uh, transition? this was where the transition was. It doesn't yeah. look like an exit. It looks like the it, edge I mean, of the screen. You know well, what if I mean? You, no, if you're in that top down mindset, you'd be like, well, there's no wall, so I can continue So there. I can walk. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> so I guess that about does it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.